Hi, I'm Tony. This is Slack. Welcome to Smog Blog. Today we are going to be reviewing the UL Crown 3. Ba bang. Ba 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 ba. Alright guys, back in the room, yeah, like we said, the UL Crown 3, there it is in all its glory. Well, kind of nearly all its glory, might have lost the drip tip, yeah. There, there it is, everything's there, it's all complete, you know, just carry on like normal. Yeah, it, we, we have actually misplaced the uh, drip tip, you know, it, it, they, there's the old saying about users lose drugs, but, um, you know, in this case, vapors lose anything that isn't fucking glued down, and uh, that that's unfortunately happened here. However, that's okay, we've, we've seen it in the unboxing, if you haven't yet seen the unboxing video check out other videos find it check out what you get in the box so you're not going to give them the whole backstory on uh no, not the, yet. what happens not, to the oh not yet spoilers yeah we're, we're running into that but it's not about the drip tip it's about the uwell crown 3 you know the latest crown offering from uwell so when the crown 1 came out it was just massively popular and it still is today you know it was just such a leap forward for vaping uh, and you know, i really liked it you well crown two didn't get you know that popular of an opinion didn't go down too well so it was always going to be interesting to see how the ul crown 3 turned out so yeah join us as we talk through it and tell you all the good things and bad things about it so quickly talking about some of the more pertinent details of the ul crown 3 it is 24 and a half by 62.7 millimeters in height and size width diameter one of those something like that roundy roundy more importantly it's got a five milliliter tank capacity yeah so you're not going to see this in the shops in any countries where the tpd has landed because of the two mil limit however yeah it is available um in countries that are allowed to sell the good stuff still yes <laughs> it's a knowing nod a yeah, knowing yeah, nod exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and including in the box as well as the tank and a spare glass and a load of O-rings and a Johnny, you know, you also get the 0.25 ohm and the 0.5 ohm coils. Which they already know because, you know, they've seen the unboxing. Yeah. They're cool like that. Yeah. Okay, before we get into the pros and cons of the device, we're going to run from it the top all the way and sort of coming down the bottom. Man down. So it's starting at the drip tip, which we clearly don't have. It's a third eye drip tip which we're using, and it's fantastic. But it's not about that. It's about the UL Crown 3 drip tip that it comes with. You will have done something different, because like, I really love the drip tip that come with the Crown 1. It is still one of my favourite drip tips. You know, nice solid metal, he big heavy bit of machinery. But yeah, this one, it's a more plastic sort of thing, but it's got a nice sort of gold banding and a colour. Uh, and yeah, hopefully now a screenshot will be popping up showing you all the different colour options. And this is another thing that you will are doing differently because they're actually selling the drip tips on their own. So you can mix and match colours. There's a whole variety of colours for the tanks itself, but drip tips, they've gone even further. So you can sort of mix it up to your own design. To clarify on that one, for those out there that will be worried, if you buy this tank, you will also get the drip tip. We we have lost our drip tip, but that's nothing. That's not nothing to do with UL. They were totally cool with delivering a complete tank with the drip tip. However, on UL's website, they're also producing loads of different colours, so you can buy them as sort of like an added accessory. Yeah, and I can probably buy Tony a replacement. Unfortunately, when we were at the expo, I saw these third eye drip tips, and I was just like, I, I need to have that, and so at the end of the day, I went and converted all my spare cash into drip tips, took the one off this, the tank I was using, which we've been running for ages testing it, and uh, put it on, and it's such a good colour match, it's great, but then um, we now might not have that drip tip that came with the crown anymore so yeah tony loves it when i get hold of his stuff because it always goes really well cool story i also dropped this one so yeah awesome segue <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, before Tony beats me up, let's steer the ship back on course. Tony, talk about the ease of filling, because that's up next with that top fill. So, ease of filling for you. Like he just said, probably. I'll cut it out, don't worry. Anyway, ease of filling. You literally just take take the top of it off. You've got two kidney shapes. 
either side you would have seen it in the unboxing yeah, if you haven't that. seen it go see the unboxing it's all there for you um you fill in one side air comes out the other you know it's, we've all seen it it's all good yeah so for me i'm, I'm not a fan of the takey offy tops anymore uh is not a great design uh, and this takey off your top is fairly flimsy however they've done something pretty clever with like quite a deep thread so you're not there unscrewing it for ages it's just like you know maybe three quarters half a turn and the whole thing's off when it's on there it is nice and solid so you, you don't have worries about it accidentally unscrewing or anything like that you do end up with a little bit of juice sitting around the top against that rubber seal it's not perfect but you know the filling itself that really is where it's got those two holes even with the big one hit wonder bottles you know you just and in it goes there's now this air pocket crap and it sort of getting stuck like you do get on some of the sort of single fill hole ones so yeah you know that once tops off juice in jobs are good very briefly moving our way down the tank there tank capacity five milliliters as we've already said quartz glass construction around it which is nice we like that did hear rumors about there being a, a two mil sort of tpd compliant one however yeah yeah there, there was a lot of talk i heard at one time when, just before it was coming out that it was going to be in the five and the two uh, but it doesn't exist so uh, you got the crown mini and and that's it so yeah I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there it's very strange you know so many people for such a long time have been producing two mil tanks now that a new tank coming out only in five mil does seem very strange so we're hopeful that the two mil version will come out it'll be interesting to see how that works because a lot of this tank is coil so you know it'll be interesting to see how it would all fit together whether it even work with these coils or whether they'd have to make smaller coils i don't know i don't know but you know we'll let you know when it happens so coil options for it, obviously inside the pack you get 1.25, 1.5 as with the website buying it online you also get packs of 4 which is a little bit shitty, I mean we've been used to packs of 5 for so long now now the packs of 4, some, some other manufacturers bringing out packs of 3 money's going down a little bit but it still feels like you're paying more I get that you, the, the coil construction, there's more going into these fucking big ass coils but I still feel like I'm getting ripped off. Yeah, so the coil we're rocking in this for this review is the 0.25. They are our favourite coils. I mean, it wasn't the original Crown. Um, I didn't really like the 0.5s on the Crown, the original Crown. Um, they, they were underpowered, underperforming, underflavoured. The 0.5s on the Crown 3, however, they have made a real improvement. I mean, you're supposed to run them, I think, 60 to 70 watts. Uh, and yeah, it is turned down a notch compared to the 0.25s. But it's still pretty decent. They, they have made a big improvement there on those 0.5s. We still prefer the 0.25s. Just to clarify on that one, although we that's where our vaping habits sort of sit with the 0.25, the 0.5s are perfectly serviceable and there are people out there that they will suit, just not our vaping profile. Continuing our journey down the device, we get to airflow at the bottom. You've got this sort of like nice on and off airflow adapter. There's three airflow holes and it gives you really nice open airflow through to you know closed off airflow and so there's a good range of airflow because i haven't said airflow enough so moving over to construction we've melded 510 in with the the 510 connector in with construction and all of that good stuff it's solid it's solid this guy's going to testify to that in a second bear with me it's as with all UL stuff, we've never had a problem and he's fucking tested it to the ends of the earth, believe me on that one. Even even the quartz glass, thank god it came with the quartz glass, otherwise we'd be using the replacement. Yeah, so today of all days, I mean, I always break Tony's stuff, I don't break it, I, I never break his stuff, no, but really fucking test, test it, it, test it hard, and today I tested it hard on concrete as I was getting out of the car, um, yeah, it took a bit of a tumble, the tiniest little mark on it, which I'm really impressed with, glass didn't shatter, it's not bent, it's not, yeah, absolutely fine, so yeah, result, so in terms of construction quality, it's tough which is what you want from a stainless steel atomizer so yeah nice and the threads on the 510 are nice sharp i'll go with sharp sure uh, it, it's got good action screwing down onto your mod and the 510 pin protrusion is 
probably about two mil, so it's a good amount. Yeah, the only other thing to talk about the construction is the way the actual coils fit into the device. Um, they just sort of slide in. It's really weird and sort of suck her out. There's now they're screwing them into the, the, the top airflow section. You, you just push them into the tank and then screw the airflow section down, a couple of notches. Hopefully you've seen it in the unboxing video. And um, yeah, it's actually really good. It's confusing the first time you look at it. You just open it up and go, oh, the fuck do I do here? But then, then yeah, it, it makes perfect sense. It works really well. You can change the coil with a certain amount of juice in there because it, it sort of sits down below this line. And this is where the lion's share of the juice goes, the bottom half. Uh, as long as you haven't got a full tank, you'll be all right. It won't go everywhere. It works really well. Which, again, you would have seen in the unboxing because I'm a fucking idiot. Last little bit to install before we do our patent pending bro science heat test. Is, is, that, is that right? Because that sounds like a mouthful. It's the colour options for it. Uh, UL have decided to go in a different direction I'm going to go with. So you, you get the normal black, then you get a matte black, then you get a silver, then you get a blue, and then you get rainbow. Yeah. Which they call purple. I mean, yeah, there is like maybe a bit of purple on there, but it's more green and yellow and is it that or was it incandescent or was yeah, incandescent it, iridescent incandescent yeah. one of them iridescent let's go with iridescent they called it and uh yeah, but in purple in brackets because because there is that bit there is purple <laughs> as you do makes sense oil on water color yeah oil effects yeah 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 why not call it that too easy Heat test. Right, okay, it's time, as Tony said, for our patent pending bro science heat test, um, or whatever it's called today. Yeah, we're going to like hit, hit, hit it if you haven't seen it before, just to sort of put it through its paces, see what it's got, you know, see how it handles heat, see how the coils deal with wicking. Again, the 0.25 ohm coil in this. It is a new coil today. Uh, the the flavour, you know, it's a, I suppose a good point as any. With, with the crown coils, uh, I've always found the first day the flavours turned down a little bit. But the life's pretty good on them, so you know, after the sort of second day on onwards, the, the flavour really kicks up a notch. So, you know, I've been using this coil a heck of a lot to try and get the flavour up, get it all ready to go. One point to interject with here is, is that although that's this coil that is new, we've been through a couple of coils with this already, with the tank, so we're well aware of what the flavour capabilities of the coils are. Right, we're juiced up, ready to go. 0.25 ohm coil at 77 watts. The recommended wattage for this is actually 80 to 90 watts, but I find the mid 70s is actually the sweet spot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give it a hit at that anyway, see what it's got. And say kicking clouds. If anyone's interested, Slack's rocking Rocket Man. Vape itself is starting to get hotter now. I was about to say their drip tips dealing with it well. Irrelevant. However, The drip tip for the Crown 3 itself also dealt with the heat really well where it's plastic based. Yeah, no dry hits. I mean, they are warmer. That's probably going to do. And yeah, the heat. I mean, there is some heat. The heat's mainly at the top here at the juice filling bit um, where it's coming up the chimney. It's pretty much cold at the base which is good because you're not going to be overheating your mod if, if you're hitting it this hard but let's face it you're probably not going to be hitting it that hard in a short space of time so flavor for the crown three as far as i'm concerned it's on point that that is how rocket man is supposed to taste this is is it that's that that's it that's how it's supposed to taste well, I, I'm going to disagree slightly. It is turned down just a notch, but again, it is that first day coil. Tomorrow, th this is going to be up, and it's going to be exactly, you know, it was accurate. It's just turned down a tiny bit from what it can do flavour-wise. Definitely not vapour-wise, you know. It, vapour was there, as you could see. Um, but yeah, flavour-wise, it was really good. It's not as good as it's going to be on this very coil. So, moving over to Spits and Swallows. 
we've had no licks and spits with this at all just we were just talking about it earlier before we started recording it, it's been absolutely fine right the way through from from first sticking those coils in sometimes with new coils they can be a bit temperamental especially if you juice the, the coils first to to get the saturation going can not like that and and be a bit spitty from from the get-go it's been absolutely on point yeah, the nearest thing to leaks you get is at the top under this juice fill where you get a bit of sort of juice sat on the top. But then it's gone. Look, it's gone. It's magic. Yeah, so absolutely no worries with leaks and spits. Next thing we should talk about is coil life. Uh, and this is a really big one for me. Uh, Ding dong. <laughs> I'm not a fan of tanks that are amazing, but only have like a two day or maybe even a week coil life that I, I prefer a bit more value for money so I was again sort of skeptical How, how's the crown three going to do crown one was one of my favorites for that very reason however Tony used the tank for nearly two weeks before handing it over to me I've used it for t another two weeks with the same coil in it a 0.25 running just below 80 watts the whole time I was using it every day. It wasn't the only device I was using, but you know, fifty percent of my vaping every day was in that a month. And you know, I only changed the coil because it occasionally, towards the end, last few days, I was getting the odd sort of taste like you're licking a shoe. You know, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like dry hitting. It wasn't burning out. It was just the flavour wasn't right. I'm pretty sure you'd even be able to clean those coils. Maybe if you cleaned them earlier, give them a good clean out, you'd get mm. more life out of them. But for me, a month out of a coil that's performing well, that is fantastic. All right, guys, we're here. We've arrived. It's that special stage of the show where we sum up by way of pros and cons, as always, starting with the cons so that we're ending on those beautiful pros. But first up, for the cons. Okay, I'm going to go for this sort of filling top thing I, I'm not a fan I don't like the design it works perfectly but like this top bit of metal it, it's just so lightweight and flimsy uh, I, I just don't trust it I don't like it uh, however that said when it's on the device we've already proved that it, it's actually solid and takes a knot we've proved the next con is the fact that we th not the fact that we thought but the fact that it doesn't come in a TPD compliance size so legally it's not going to be sold within the eu we thought it was going to be coming out in a tpd size maybe if enough people complain about it to ul the fact that they haven't got their good stuff they might see sense they did it for the first one so why not do it for this one and last up for the cons list i'm going to go with the drip tip that it came with uh, i'm not a fan of that type of plasticky sort of delrini drip tips uh, i quite like big resin drip tips but just the plasticky ones they don't float my boat, I don't enjoy them, I found it a little bit small, a little bit, yeah, underwhelming, especially compared to the first crown. However, Tony seemed to like it before I lost it. And now for the last con, which isn't really a con, and I'll explain that now. It's the fact that the replacement coils for, for it only come in packs of four, so you're losing on the usual packs of five that we've been used to for so long. And I told you about this earlier on. Now, the reason it's not a con is the fact of the amount of time that you get out of each coil. If they all perform as well as that first coil it did that we had in it, you know, you get a month's worth of fucking use out of it. That is brilliant, banging. I, I don't care, they could sell it, you know, individually. Uh, and and charge charge whatever they fucking liked for it because you you'd be happy with that kind of performance and that's why that last con then morphs into the first pro yeah so that first pro is going to be core cool life i mean personally I'm, I'm not bothered about the packs of four yeah they come how they come but yeah what i am bothered about is coil life that that is key for me for a, a tank with pre-built coils uh, and it's incredible it is some of the best core life i've had probably since the first crown. I was really surprised it was still that good. Flavour throughout and right up until the shoe taste at the end. But again, the coil wasn't burnt out. It was still going, still serviceable. Brilliant. Next up on the pros is that flavour performance scenario going on there. I'm personally very, 
very happy with how, how this has performed over the course of our testing of it. While Slack says the flavours turned down that, that little notch, for, for me, I wasn't vaping my favourite sort of juice, so maybe, uh, I don't know. It, it was doing good as far as I was concerned, and performance has been spot on. Yeah, the performance is great on this, especially when you consider you're going to be rocking this at around about 80 watts, something like that. You know, recommended wattage 80 to 90 watts. Uh, and if you think the core life you get out of it, our first pro, I mean, it's just an incredible sort of combination. It just works so well. But next pro for me has got to be the styling option. So not only do you get, like, for a brand new tank, you get, you get a variety of colours for the tanks. They're already selling sort of customised drip tips for it in even more colours. I, I think that's really good. And knowing you well, I expect we're going to see our rose gold one soon enough. Our next pro is uh, the, the little key that they include in the pack, which enables you to completely break down that tank. If you watch the unboxing, you would have seen me use it, probably fuck up using it. And, and actually the ability to, to completely take the thing apart and give it a good clean out is in my view, a nice addition to, to an already great tank. And tied in closely with, with that key to break the tank apart is the included accessories that you get with it, the, all the spare parts, your tank seals and everything else, which is, they don't have to supply it. A lot of companies just do the bare minimum, at least with this, this one, they're including what looks to be a very fucking comprehensive set of seals and silicons. And of course, not forgetting our drip tip condom. Yeah, stop you getting pocket fluff uh, in your drip tip because uh, that would really chafe. Okay, so that about does it for this review. So in summing up for this, I mean, it's just a really solid, all good all-round unit. You know, everything about it is good, but the highlight has got to be that amazing coil life. You know, when everything works well and you get a long life out of it, that is just fantastic. All right, guys, there you have it. Please like, subscribe, share if you can. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yeah, if you've got any questions about the U World Crown 3 or anything else vape-related, hit us up in the comments section below. Find us on social media. But for now, guys, thanks for watching Smoke Vlog. Murray, Murray, you fucking thing. Uh, not as much pro problem with this. Where is There we go. It's not now reflected. Oh, <laughs> Murray. <laughs> Come on, man. Hi. How are we recording? Oh, good. <laughs> what is it? Is it like a cup that goes over the top? Condom. Yeah, that popular of an opinion didn't go down too well. Um, so I was skeptical to see how the Crown 3 went. Um, spoilers. <laughs> well, we've got to let them know what we're thinking. <laughs> yes. Ever so slightly right the way through the through the review until oh, yeah. the end. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> One hit wonder bottles, you know, you just and in it goes. There's now this air pocket crap, and it sort of getting stuck like you do get on some of the sort of single fill hole ones. So, yeah, you know that once tops off, juice in, jobs are good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Tops off, juice in, jobs are good. How do you have sex? Sounds like a good Saturday night, yeah. <laughs> Onto off, onto off. Airflow adapter. Yeah. Airflow control ring. Or adapter. Okay, well, anyway. No, 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 you said adapter. <laughs> That's fine. Ah, said airflow enough to make up for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Do you want me to do that whole section again? No. Okay. Yeah, because this is going to make a brilliant bit in the outtakes. Great. <laughs>
<laughs> Hi, Hi <I'm> Tags. <laughs> <laughs> Last little bit to install before we do our patent pending bro science heat te- is is that is that right because that sounds like a mouthful now okay <laughs> thank prob- you probably the name of our second juice <laughs> <clears throat> gentleman's relish <laughs> <laughs> editor for the bit before you can put a picture up of all the different colors i say editor is going to be time to drink a beer exactly Yes. I was, to be honest with you, I was expecting you to jump in and say, "Well, actually," or uh, "Yeah, oh, no, you're wording yeah. it." Okay. All right, guys, we're here. We've arrived. It's that special stage of the show where we sum up by way of pros and cons. As always, starting with the uh, tailing off. It's yeah, I like it. <laughs> it feels like I haven't done it for a while. <laughs> Someone pulled the plug and you just like talking. And <laughs> We've done been doing so much EG, so I'm just like, how does this go again? <laughs> Ready? Yep. Not not that we've been vaping a lot of EG, it's just we've been doing a lot of e juice reviews and when you do a lot of e juice reviews and then come back to doing a a thing review, it's a completely different format. <sighs> Ready? Yes. What did I say? Next up, the fact drip, the tip. drip tip. You can lose a drip tip really no, easily. All right, come on, head in the game. My head's currently why juice is dribbling down my leg. Um, maybe it's we. Maybe. You didn't put the towel down. Oh, you need the magnum for that. <laughs> is it called a magnum? <laughs> there it goes. Stretch it on there. Just like sex. <laughs> yeah. hmm, doesn't want to come back off though. <laughs> Just like sex. <laughs> <laughs> Good amount of vape at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that camera definitely knew it. <coughs> Smooth. Yeah. French tickler. <laughs> 